All right, today's Ultimate Legends are 99 Ronnie Lott at the strong safety position with the red chemistry of pick six and fullback Franco Harris with the battle red of chemistry. And then our limited time legend today is right end of the Broncos, Trevor Price. He's already up on the auction block. Let me bring him up to show you his stats. Then we're going to have a pack opening here. It's going to be a pretty quick one here because I'm not too interested in this Trevor Price. So I'm just going to do my gold two weekend league rewards and maybe one or two movers packs. And maybe one Legends Fantasy pack. I like opening those. Here's today's limited legend, Trevor Price. He's got battle ready and multiple different chemistries depending on which version you buy or pull. We'll compare him here to my Jason Taylor. He's much slower, but he's got him in just about everything other than the speed and um, the finesse move. 99 block shed's awfully nice. Uh, this card would look excellent with Secure Tackler, um, but without the Secure Tackler, I'm not as keen on it as I would be. And I personally put my uh, right end in a QB spy quite often, so I want the speed. And secure tacklers uh, also really nice to have in case, you know, your right hand puts his, the hands on the guy, and then boom, he's down. You know, he might fall forward a couple feet, but he's not getting away. Um, fullback, Franco Harris is another new legend for the day. And I thought I'd seen him up earlier already. Yep, here he is. We'll compare him to my Christian Okoye. <clears throat> he's got three speed on him and one strength um, and then he definitely could catch the ball a heck of a lot better than Christian Okoye probably EA remembers the immaculate reception with Franco Harris involved in that um, other than that he looks like a decent fullback card if you're looking for a 99 fullback again he's got the battle ready chemistry uh, but, you know, uh, the, I guess the only other chemistries you could probably put on him that would be good would be the Never Stumble or potentially the Playmaker if you're running something like Fullback Angle. Uh, play, pull, a play with Fullback Angle anyway. And then let's see if we've got the Ronnie Lott. I thought I'd seen him up just a little bit ago. Yep, there's a Ronnie Lott. With, again, the pick six chemistry. I need a new strong safety. And if Ronnie Lott had had secure tackler, I would have went with him. As you can see, he's, like, so much better than my Eric Weidel. Um, he's got 96 speed. 98 excel. 97 play rec. 94 tackle. 91 man. 97 zone. 97 pursuit. 98 hit power and I'll take a look at his block shedding for you guys here real quick so that's also important if he ends up playing down in the box there for you depending on what type of defense you guys run block shedding of an 88 which is again better than my Eric Weddle the only thing my Eric Weddle does is better zone coverage by one so and then tip drill is also pretty much useless on my Eric Weddle so maybe I will get this guy anyway once his price settles down a little bit less I'm definitely not going to pay a million coins for him but we'll get into the packs that I got saved up here which are these uh, Hail Mary packs and if you get uh, anything good out of these it really is like a Hail Mary there so On to the next one. Alright, midfield packs. These ones have traditionally been a little bit better. More golds anyway and a lot less silvers. Also guys, yesterday I was doing something, but the movers program come out. Feel free to leave comments about that. I wasn't too impressed with too many of the movers cards that come out but 
Let me know what your thoughts and opinions are on those down in the comment section below. I wouldn't mind having the Adamant Sue if he had Secure Tackle. So I definitely have a spot for that guy on my team. We'll move on to the Red Zone pack now. And then the LeGarrette Blunt because I'm a Lions fan, but I just recently picked up the Terrell Davis Ultimate Legend card and I was looking and I didn't want to downgrade. First Elite, second Elite, third Elite, fourth Elite. Four elites out of that red zone pack. Let's see what other packs I can open up. Oh, it's going to make me open up the Ronnie Lock card. <clears throat> yeah, I just got these tokens from the movers. Might as well open up these movers. Kings packs. I don't know what you guys got here. We're about to see what I got in mine. A right guard. Oh, Kenny Wiggins went to the Lions. I didn't know that the Lions had a second player. That shows how much I paid attention to which players were in the promo. Right, this one apparently has your uniforms. And two players, I think. And then, like I said, I'll open up two of these Legends Fantasy packs. And then I'm going to open one of the Movers packs just for the heck of it. I'm assuming you can pull full movers out of those anyway. If you can't pull full movers, I'll read the pack description, but then I won't open them. But. See, a lot of times people get their best pulls in these Legends Fantasy packs in the second round here, but. We certainly did not get our best pull in the second round there. Well, at least it was the new lot, Ronnie Lockhart. Still probably only sell for 20000 but maybe if we get it on the market soon enough, I can get a little extra out of it. One more of these. Go ahead and take these three golds. Don't want him. Might end up actually taking that one. The same Ronnie Lot I just got. I'm just guessing here but we'll just take this one now read the description on a movers pack and if you can only get the knights or whatever i'm not going to open one but it does say a knights pack 89 plus movers player well it sounds like 89 plus you could potentially get a full movers i'm guessing probably won't And this should be the movers card. And there we got Barcavius Mingo. And that concludes it for the pack opening, guys. Feel free to like and subscribe and comment down below.